Topic of today is the brand new Trackmania World Tour maps. So basically, um, Trackmania World Tour um, this year is very, very weird, not too interesting. Um, but we have new maps and of course I will check them out nonetheless. So basically the way it works is we have um, for each two months of competition we have a map pool consisting of five maps. And um, yeah, the maps for August and September, so the final map pack before the uh, playoffs will take place, has been released um, just about a few hours ago. So we're gonna check it out, Trackmania World Tour 24 Fall. Now even with an official partner, Continental. And uh, yeah. Previous map pack uh, was very, very boring. We had maps like, um, you know, we had maps like uh, Agility Dash and all of these kind of super basic maps. And SRK, who is responsible for the map pack, um, did promise that the maps will be less uh, press forward ish. So I'm really excited to see what Nadeo has cooked. I really hope um, they stepped up their game because, yeah, maps need to be difficult, maps need to be creative in this competition. So let's see what we have here. We have five maps. We're gonna discover them all. And we're gonna start on map one, which is called Adversary. Okay, let's hop straight in. I didn't see anything of the map set. I heard a few things, but that is literally it. It's basically gonna, gonna be a blind discovery. So yeah, first of all, one minute offer time. That is very good. Maps seem to be longer. That is very, very nice. Because maps should be like a minute long at least. Nobody wants to play like uh, 50 second long maps. So yeah. Okay, wait first of all. Yeah, I noticed that. I was not in full screen. <laughs> I had very low FPS. Okay. Interesting start. Some transitions. Then we go here. That's the first rift. Okay. Okay, already looks more advanced than uh, previous map pack. From what I can see now. Okay, a jump. Alright. Maps of course still do not have identities. That is something that is not part of World Tour maps anymore, sadly. Maybe it's gonna come back in the future, I have no idea. I would hope so. And we have Ice! That is something that was also completely missing on the previous map pack, for whatever reason. Like, I'm not a fan of Ice, but I think Ice is part of the game, so we should ha- Yeah, hello guys, it's the 360? Okay, okay, okay. This map is already more cooked than the entire previous map pack combined. I can already tell you. Holy moly, okay. Damn, an interesting world tour map in 2024. Crazy. Okay, some plastic. Oh, this is plastic sausage. Okay, that is something I've not seen before. The blocks look very cursed, to be honest. And a bit of a risky jump. Okay, 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 okay. Not too bad. Let's try to get a clean run on each map today. Could be a no slide. Kinda hard to get around here though. And this is only map one. This gives me hope uh, for more. So here we probably wanna yeah, we probably wanna jump out on the side. So we wanna go like here and then hop to like avoid the penalty. Banana plastic, yeah, kinda. The thing is I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be practicing these maps. Because the uh, Xpebo maps will also be released uh, soon-ish. And I also want to practice for them. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to play any of the tournaments that will use this map pack. But if the maps are fun, then uh, maybe. But we'll see. The thing is, the maps might be fun, but the tournaments still are not that fun. Like, yeah, it's always fun to compete in Trackmania. But they are using the most simple game mode you can use for tournaments in Trackmania. And one of the things that made Trackmania World Tour interesting for me always was the interesting formats. No matter if it was uh, if it was the six lap format back in the days or the duo format. But yeah, cup mode is just uh, the most boring Trackmania format to play in competitions for me. But this is hard though. That we will see. How about the wicked part though? Wicked part. Surely the entire map will not just be about this, right guys? <laughs> I'm not sure if the anti-boost is necessary. That one feels a bit weird. Uh, yes, the playoffs will use a different map pack again. So this is not the playoff maps. The playoff maps hopefully are gonna be even more difficult. 
The thing is though, uh, I'm not sure if I am 100% safe in the playoffs already. With the points I have right now. Like right now I'm in... I don't know, what position am I in in the leaderboard? Like 20th or something and I need top 32. As long as I have top 32, the rest doesn't matter. The seeding is honestly whatever. I just need to be uh, top 32. Yeah, not sure if I'm safe for that. This is super weird to play here. This plastic sausage. I'm not sure how exactly I'm supposed to drive this. It feels a bit unsmooth. Yeah, this feels, this feels really weird. I'm not sure about that. Is that why uh, the Bonkyo Mama Cup uses cup mode? The thing is, Bonkyo Mama Cup also uses cup mode. Or well, like the Big Yak Monthly Cup. Not the Bonkyo Mama Cup. Uh, the issue, the difference is that uh, we use a different type of format there, in terms of maps. We use random maps. And on random maps, where, you know, we have like super crazy maps and people don't know what they're playing, even a standard Trackmania format is exciting. But when you have uh, maps that everybody can practice for, for multiple weeks, it is way more interesting to uh, have a unique format as well. Such as we had in the... Um, in the Dingsbums, in the Beacon World League, for example, where we had a reverse cup mode instead of normal one. Etc, etc. Okay, let's see if I remember everything. The ice part is gonna be hard to one shot in a run. I mean, this is fine, this is just an ice slide. But this here is quite. A nasty part. Okay, I released now, but I survived. Hop. Ah, God, what is this part? I don't get around. Is that a slide? Has to be a drift, right? Just not surviving otherwise. The map itself feel, feels really good, though. Like, still rather normal, but like creative normal. This is a difficulty I can agree with. I know you can like fully send it here. But this has a good difficulty. This is not too simple. I'm just not sure about this part here because uh, yeah, it feels very awkward <laughs> for some reason. Okay, come on. I'm on 18th place. I mean, what are the odds that 14 people are gonna overtake me in the final months? Also here in the start, we could no slide. Probably better in camera one. Could be possible, yeah. There could be a nose slide here. It reminds me of that one turn on the uh, Beacon World League map on uh, Arrowgate. But this is a cool map. This is a creative mixed map and this is also not too difficult. Like, this is still an approachable map, but it's still exciting, you know? That's the thing, like, maps can be good for advanced people and for beginners if you build them properly. I mean, of course, that is difficult to do, but I mean, this is like some of the most important maps in the game, you could say. So, I would also expect them to be good. Ah, god. That is not easy, though. I'm barely even getting around here. If you're too far down, then you're gonna crash inside. Okay. Come on, let's get a clean run. We have many more maps to play. But this is a good start. This gives me hope, guys. This is already better than every single map of the previous map pack. Except for uh, High Note, maybe. High Note was super cool and creative. But all of the other maps were just quality-wise and creativity-wise way lower. So this gives me hope, guys. This is not bad. This is nice. Not a perfect map, I would say. Could be more dank, if you ask me. But this is something... Like The thing is, I also really enjoy dank maps, personally. So it's hard to make a map which is, like, perfect for me, you know? But this is something I think everybody can be happy with. And that's how it should be. Like a pro competition should not have maps where the pros are falling asleep during the run. And I think this map um, is definitely exciting enough. It also has some ice, a lot of mixed parts. We have plastic, ice. No wood, sadly. Wood would be nice. Oh yeah, we have dirt, we have drift. This is a nice mixed map. Can't deny that. I can't complain about this in my opinion. Here you also land smooth in this small slope. That is a very, very nice detail. Ah, oh, I clipped in the way, little bro. I'm not sure how to drive this here, eh? Like... Huh. Like, 
I'm just like bouncing all over the place here. Yeah. Dice for 60 exit is so clean. Yeah, it really is. Also feels very nice. Not too hard as well. Like with ice 360s, it's always dangerous to use in uh, competitive maps because if you build them in a way that they are too difficult, they will they will very quickly be the most important part of the map, and it would make everything else redundant. So that would not be nice. But yeah, insane risk potential on this jump. Yeah, I also see some parts here already where you can gain some time. But that is nice, that's what maps need. Like, playing maps where you lose 0.10 in the stars, or like 0.1, and then you cannot catch up anymore, it's just boring in competition. You need maps where you can also have like some excitement, you know? Where you give player, where you can like risk and have a chance to catch up. Like maps don't, like, like no matter how hard the maps are, you will always have like exciting races. You don't need like easy maps for that. So that is something that is given at either way when you let the best possible players play your maps. Oh, this is really clean, very nicely built. And I'm, I don't like ice personally, but this is really good. So can I like survive this now? That would be very nice. And top. Okay. 104.1. Fifth in the world. For the discovery. Uh, not bad, I would say. We're 0.6 behind AT. Definitely uh, not a perfect run, of course. But I think um, we take that as uh, a good discovery run. I can show it to you in camera one as well. Or let's maybe uh, let's maybe watch the world record instead. Mr. Wizzy. Let's see what he cooked here already. Well, yeah, if this is map one, I am um, looking forward to the next four. I enjoyed this. And I didn't uh, say that about four out of five maps from the previous map pack. So that's already a good start. <laughs> a very good start. I'm not sure uh, who the mappers were. Like, this doesn't feel like... You know, it doesn't feel like... Uh, it doesn't feel like a map where I could say, ah oh, yeah, that's definitely built by mapper XY. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, someone who knows what he's doing. That's pretty good. And Carlos with the 23 month resub and also Mac and Cheese uh, with the 25 month resub uh, nine minutes ago. Thank you very much for that as well. Did we have. Uh, wait, did I say thank you to Novex? Novex, three, uh, three months, 10 minutes uh, ago? I'm not sure. But Novex, thank you very much for the resub as well. What are all of these subs today? Where are the. Uh, dude, we had so many subs already. Where are the. Where are you guys all coming from? Jesus Christ. We also had XO Tile XO with the uh, brand new tier one sub. Thank you very much. And now we also have Condis with the four month reset. Jeepers, guys! Thank you very much. Okay, I didn't even pay attention to the run now, <laughs> so I'm just gonna watch it another time. <laughs> Super sorry, but I think um, from the bits I saw, it looked like he just you know had a cleaner run than me. But let's uh, quickly uh, check it out again. No outside turn possible here. Just good exit speed here. Unique executed with a gift sub going to Nenka. Thank you very much, Unique executed. Appreciate it, of course. Thank you, thank you. Zack, zack, zack. Uh, I see uh, Gerber Bates, if you're interested, uh, on Grana TV on YouTube, on my second channel. I also uploaded the, um, the entire presentation of the announcement. Like 20 minutes long, where I uh, showed you some pictures, explained everything, uploaded it earlier today, if you want to check that out. Oh, he goes from very wide here. At this point, in the ending, the only, like, I like the idea with the plastic in the ending, but in the first attempts, it felt uh, a bit bad. Like this plastic banana dingsbums, however Shadow Grants are called it. I'm not sure, but might uh, might just be because I had wrong lines. Anyway, very good first map, I would say. Let's check out what map 2 is. If it's gonna get a bit more easier again, or if it's gonna get a little bit more brutal. Map 2 is called Brutal. Okay, that is a map name that um, sparks my interest. I really hope the map actually is brutal. Let's see where that name comes from. Arizal map, yeah, maybe. Okay, we start with some transitions. Through the triangle, you wanna get upper gear. Alright, we have a drift probably, yep. Ugh, I'm reading maps like books sometimes. But that's a good sign for the map, when I instantly understand where to go, that is uh, a good thing. 
Okay, so far, not anything that I would say is brutal. Just some normal driving. A lot of jumps and small transitions though, that's cool. Oh, okay, we wanna go into the middle of the pole here. Uh, okay, there's no custom standing respawn, schade. Hope I can still drive the map the way it's intended to. Where the hell do I have to go? Okay, here, and then here, and then... Yeah, and then... Yeah. Uh, huh? <laughs> Stop. I think I have to go through the ring. Okay, a lot of transitions here. Quarter pipe jumps, always cool if you ask me. Not so cool if you don't have to speed. Uh, okay. Okay, a lot of transitions. This feels like... Uh, uh, this feels... Okay, this is not cool. Fuck water. Um, this feels like a uh, Dingsbums map. Wait, what is this? Eh? Wait, wallbang is blocked off. What am I supposed to do here then? Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like a whiskey map. Okay, what do I have to do here? Okay, this feels weird. Am I supposed to release for like one year or... Is this the way to go? Like Giga release and... Yeah? Or... Okay, that was definitely not the correct line. Okay, interesting. Backwards? Oh, it's actually a backwards part, okay. It's always cool to have backwards parts, but for some reason, people never build backwards parts where you actually have to do something. Like, you just steer. Ach du Kacke! Okay, that is a risky finish and a half. Oh god, that's gonna be not even easy for me. Holy moly, okay. That's actually a bit of an identity, you could say. That is actually a bit of an identity. Yeah, I remember uh, back and forth. I remember that. And that was not very nice. <laughs> the architecture style is called brutalism, okay? Okay, I see. Interesting. I miss identities. Yeah, many people do. Nadeo got rid of something that most people enjoyed. Of course, there were also bad identities. But um, undeniably, most people would want identities back if you take uh, viewers into account. Players maybe not, but you cannot deny that identities were entertaining. And I also enjoyed playing them. But they of course had to be built nicely. They could of course also ruin a map. But if used nicely, they made maps better. Okay, that is a very blind hole. That comes out of nowhere. But this is a cool map. Very, actually kind of unique style. Like, no huge elevation changes and stuff. But a lot of, like, transitions and interesting parts. Ah! Jeepers. But yeah, I'm not sure what this part is about. Like, do I just have to release? Starting from the checkpoint, or...? This feels so wrong. I'm not sure, but, like, doing a drift is not really, like... Something you wanna do underwater. But maybe you actually wanna do like a drift into a drift cancel or something. And then you go like this and like this. Ah, very interesting. But this backwards part is not even that easy, like with the turn here. Very easy to not make it. Backwards driving is always super weird for me with wheel. Because I always have to hold down my brake button, obviously. Yeah, I'm don't like it too much. <laughs> uh. And this is so easy to fail. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Not an easy map. Please read SRK messages. He said earlier something about that. Um, SRK said this map pack has identities, kinda, but not in a too crazy way like other seasons. Okay. Did the previous map had an identity? I mean, I wouldn't say the previous one had an identity, like, not even, like, kinda. But this one here I can, uh, I can see, yeah. 
the plastic sausage, yeah, but that was not the identity. That was just like, it was just plastic sausage. Nothing identity ish about it, so I'm a like the ice 360 and ice parts were more of an identity than the actual identity, if you ask me. I mean, yeah, it was an interesting block, but like, let's not praise it too much because it was just like, you know, full speed plastic and you do some turning. <laughs> I wouldn't call that an identity. But as I said, this one here, for sure. And I got a slowdown. I love acceleration penalty. Are maps harder this time? Uh, yes. So far, for sure. They for sure are. And I would also say better overall. Like, not just better because they are harder, but also better in terms of mapping quality. Okay, here you wanna keep the gear, interesting. Until here the map is quite simple to be fair. Minus 5 speed for whatever reason. Understandable. But then here. Ah. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. This feels super, super odd. Like, I think you have to do this, a drift, and then hold... I mean, now I have, don't have the speed that you originally have, because I crashed. But it's like this, and then um, a turn. I'm not sure what else you could do here. Nah. Ah, great. I got the checkpoint without the reactor. Uh, great. <laughs> okay, that is also a very not so nice standing respawn. I'm not sure if you want to take this outside turn here. I don't feel so. I don't feel like that. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to be struggling with this backwards section, not gonna lie. Okay, anyway. Let's try to get a clean run again. Should be doable though. I just need to survive the ending ones, basically. The rest is really not that hard. I think I like the first map more than this one, to be honest. I feel like this map has a bit of a, a weird balance. Like, the first half, there is, like, almost nothing happening. I mean, yeah, stuff is happening, but, like, just normal stuff, you know? Easy turns and some transitions. And then starting from here, the map just gets, like, ultra dank. So I guess in rounds, we're just gonna have, like, close races until here. And then everything is decided in the ending. <laughs> Sounds like identities back in the days. Bam. Oh. Ugh. Okay, got around somehow. Definitely not on like crazy pace here or something. Ah, this is like hard to get the steering timing correct. The thing is, you know what's weird about backwards driving with wheel for me? That uh, my brake button is on the wheel. So whenever I'm driving backwards, uh, I need to constantly hold that button down. And it makes the ste makes steering super hard for me because I always need to like push down with one button. It's super weird. Okay. Maybe I ha my maybe it's actually time to go uh, to my um, substitute pedals because on the pedals that I'm currently using, two out of three uh, yeah pedals or like buttons are broken. So I can also not have a binding for um, braking or like backwards driving on it. Otherwise, I could just switch the um, the pedal, basically. Or maybe it's actually time for me to switch the pedals and uh, do it with the feet, and then my hands here don't have to hold down the button and could just fully focus on the steering in the backwards part. Yeah, or I just do it like the other wheel players and just bind um, one of my shift pedals on the wheel to uh, to that. I'm pretty sure this is the strat. I don't know what else you would want to do here. That's the only thing that makes sense. Very interesting though. Like it feels a bit weird, but it's... Could be cool.
Ja. <lacht> 106.7. Der haben 104 already bei Bings. Crazy. Okay, 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 okay. Ja, yeah, äh, uh, let's watch the world record. It was a clean run, so we take it for now. But damn, not an easy map here. I wonder what he's doing in the final points of the map. Until then, it's pretty clear, but I wonder what he's doing here. And yo, Akiman, hello. And yes, I am wearing a Reactor Up t-shirt. What do you, what do you guys think? How do you like my shirt? The previous days I was dressed as a free build block, now I'm dressed as a reactor up. <laughs> Why does it say personal PB? Personal, personal best? Are you stupid? No, I'm not stupid, but I'm funny. And you're also funny because you uh, just created a copy cluster. Congratulations. Usually not a good sign. Okay, what is Bings doing here? Also drift, drift cancel and drive here. Yep. Zack, zack. Then very inside to the poles here, keeping a lot of speed, which is obviously good. And then some backwards gaming here. Very inside line, very close to crashing. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, you don't need to make it clean onto the beam when you have good speed. Because uh, the thing is, I, I still think we will see quite a few fails on that point. I am pretty sure about that. But other than that, um, Clean run, clean map, and uh, yeah, looks fun. Good map, I would say. Creative, quite difficult, not too difficult. Pretty nice one, I would say. And very cool to see some sort of identity. I really hope, like, SRK, if you're still listening, SRK, people want identities back. Like, maybe not all players, I can understand it, but many, many spectators want to. Like, I made a poll about that lately on, uh, on uh, Twitter. And people want identities. Like, people love the concept. They, ju they just need to be built properly. If they are built properly, nobody's gonna complain. We need identities for next year or something. Or maybe even for the playoffs map pick already. I mean, this is cool though. This is already enough. This is, I would say, this is an identity. This is fine, you know? Anyway, next map. <laughs> Do you mean X? No. X is yik. Oh, okay. Next map is called uh, Lunatic or Lunatic. How, I mean, how do you pronounce that? Lunatic or Lunatic? I'm not sure. But this is basically a term. Like Lunatic or Lunatic um, is basically um, a track style in Trackmania. And um, basically means very hard lol maps, you could say. So kind of like Kaki, but less difficult than Kaki. If that makes sense. Like easy, Lunatic is basically like uh, easy Kaki. So I'm gonna be uh, gonna be interesting to see what um, what this map has to offer. I see a red boost. Can Chica type one? <laughs> anyway, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Lunatic. Okay. I always thought it's lunatic. Okay. Some usage of new blocks here. Uh, okay. No break section. So basically a NASCAR part. That is cool. Oh yeah, mashallah, already more creative than fucking agility dash. Ah, good cooking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. I see creativity instead of cup of the day. That is nice. Oh, we go here. Oh! Okay, that came a bit out of nowhere. I thought that uh, part was already, uh, uh, was still grass, I mean. Okay, red boost, speed slide possible. Bonk, bit of a snowball part, cool, to make this uh, speed slide a bit more important. Small drift here, no steer, oh yeah, yeah, good maps, good maps, good maps, good maps. Nice cooking, this is what we need. I'm not, wait, is the, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. We even have, could go like this here, I don't know if that's faster. But we have a fragile um, penalty. And that is giving some very XCD uh, mechanics here. Ay, ay, ay. That's also something I didn't really use a lot. Or like drive a lot yet. Has also been used on some khaki maps. Maybe some of you guys remember. This makes steering like you slide a lot. It's That's not easy. That is not easy to drive. I can tell you that much. Gotta get used to that myself. It's a bit like wet wood. Okay, cool part though. 
Best map so far, I would say. Reactor up, yeah, hello! Into Wallride, into Dingsbums, into... Wow, Mashala! Okay, best map so far. Mashala, that is a good map. Holy creative. So many interesting elements, man. Like, uh, ah! That just, made, that, just, that just shows again how fucking boring the previous map pack was. Like, holy frick, man. This could even be a Beacon World League map, kind of, difficulty-wise. This is really creative. Nice. Whoever built this, very good job. And also, SRK, good job for uh, allowing this. Or Nadeo, or whoever was responsible for that. Best map so far, I would say. Just in terms of creativity. So many interesting parts used that you have to master. Really, really, really cool. The thing is, I didn't even plan to play the World Tour maps on this map pack. But I have this, I kind of have the similar feeling as with Beacon World League right now. Which is that I didn't plan to play originally, but the maps are actually really cool, so I might actually play. At least a little bit, you know? Yeah, good map, eh? Very nice one. This one is really good. Best map so far. Imo. Very, very good. Ah, okay, if you touch there, then it's mud, of course. I'm not sure what this is about. Hmm. I think here you just have to hold left for like way longer than you think. Actually good that this thing is placed at the inside there, because otherwise the fastest would be to go over the edge. And that would sometimes randomly give you um, slowdowns. Not always, but sometimes. On the other hand, you would have to do it because... Uh, yeah, because it's faster. And then you go like this, and then wall right, and then you jump like out, and... Wah! Hey, this is good. This is really good. You know what? This, like, this map, honestly, is perfect for my personal taste. It would just need a little bit harder of an identity. Like, you know, for example, in a way, like, in my opinion, to make this a perfect map, as okay, maybe Noten, <laughs> um, to make this, like, the map itself is super perfect, like, a lot of different elements, a lot of creativity, not easy. Um, I am more, like, let's say if this was a playoffs map and really only the absolute pros would use it, um, just make the identity part a little bit longer. Like, you know, have, like, the wall right. Then have like one looping and then maybe another wall right in this. So the map would be a bit longer, 110 instead of one minute. And you know, a little bit more of an exciting ending. Don't listen to him. Guys, 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 listen to me. But that's in general something. Like in my opinion, competitive maps for like the highest tier competitions, um, they shouldn't only be one minute long, but like 115 to 130. I would love that. I had a talk with that, uh, a talk with Massa about that lately. And he, like we both agreed to that basically. Like, I would want maps to be even longer, but this is still a good, um, a good step forward here. Like, in general, like, in comparison to the, like, if you compare this map pack already, I've only seen three maps out of five. With the previous map pack, the, the previous map pack was just so fucking pressed forward, boring, I'm falling asleep-ish. This is so much better already. So, SRK, I'm proud of you. Good cooking. In SRK, we trust. Surely also for next year. Now imagine this, and we have 2v2 back, and an action leak. Ah, oh, it could be so nice. Prage as okay. Prage for cooking. Yeah, this is so flowy as well. Like, ah, oh, jawohl. Damn, this is way better than anything I had ex uh, ex expected. Very, 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 very nice. Also, this is a map, I can already tell you, Epos is gonna be fucking insane on this. This is... Like, this map reminds me a little bit of Arrowgate. But it's actually better than Arrowgate from Beacon World League, if you ask me. Like, it's... It kind of give me, gives me a similar vibe. All needs to happen is, I just need to not get fired. I mean, if Nadeo throws you out, for whatever reason, then Nadeo is just dumb. Like, why? Why would they? <laughs> that would be giga fucking weird. But yeah, um, was, was that a clean run or do we improve once more? I mean, I don't want the discovery video to be too long because, you know, it's about discovery and not like hunting, first hunting session or something. I think we're gonna go for one more improvement, yeah. 
I think it was a clean run, but um, why not? Map is fun. So I don't have the urge to uh, to leave the map, which is good. <laughs> Cannot do a break tap here, that's also very nice that we have a no break because these break taps on dirt are not very nice, to be honest. Good that it's blocked off, Imo. I'm not even sure what is even triggering my SD there. Oh. Okay. What is what is like is there a gra Ah you have like a nano grass part. Okay, good focus. Good focus. I would really like to know who built these maps. Or like this map in particular. I'm really interested in that. You know, I would love to see who's like building these type of maps. Just like in case we do like, you know, we host like a big charity race or something like we... Sometimes we're just looking for mappers to build maps for our competitions. And you know, someone who builds this... Could be like interesting for me. You know? Kaluki was first map. Okay. Yeah, Kaluki is a cook. Actually, good focus by Karluki there, because the maps I played from Karluki so far were all very tech-based. And I mean, they were good, but yeah, I'm not the biggest tech enjoyer. But that first map was actually not that much tech, like way more mixed. So perhaps the most, my most favorite map of Karluki that I played so far. As I said, only found the ending a bit weird in my discovery. But I think Karluki was also in the chat earlier, I think I saw his name. So Karluki, if you're still here, good cooking. I who built this? I wonder. Maybe it is maybe it is actually Kerberos. Maybe it actually is Kerberos. I wouldn't be surprised. But it would be new to me that he's mapping for uh Lando. Or like for World Tour. Improving should not be too hard if I can gain 0.6 in the start. This is a bit weird, like here, you, you don't even get a round here. But maybe I'm just driving it wrong. We're gonna watch the world backward, of course, again. Ah, I just don't get around. I'm still okay, didn't lose that much. Yeah, okay, that definitely lost a little bit. Nico with the double crash! And still with the point eight PB, hello! <laughs> okay, point twenty three. Do we take that guys? Is that enough for discovery? I think it's fine. Small two oopsies, but I think it's fine. Let's see what Mr. Epos has cooked. The British powerhouse. Actually it was very interesting to see when I uploaded um, my videos of the Beacon World League on my uh, second channel on Rana TV. Many people still did not know him. Like many people were like, hey, why did I never uh, hear of Epos before? Because he absolutely dominated that tournament. That's pretty interesting. Well, let's see what he cooked here. Sir Robert, yeah. He's also a very nice guy, IRL. I mean, I already met him like multiple times now. Robert is um, a certified Giga Chat. Oh, he is actually making the turn and then having way more speed here. Okay, I lost a lot here. He's so much faster into this. I probably lost like half a second. And here it's mostly holding left, some releases to get tighter around. This looks simple, but the physics are very weird. It's a bit like Wetwood, as I said. Then drift here, going for exit speed. Then good full speed lines here, low air time, over the penalty, uh, over the uh, slow -mo and tuck. Yeah, very good map. Very good one. My most favorite one so far. That is um, confirmed to be a banger. So, tight spaces. Yeah, I'm personally, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of tight spaces. That's actually a very, like, compact map here. Interesting. Just from the top view, it looks like the least interesting map so far. That's, of course, uh, just from the top view. Because in general, I like maps a bit more which are, like, you know, a little bit faster paced. And the map which is like super like tight and stuff, it's of course usually not that fast paced. But let's see. We're going in. No early assumptions here. Okay, there's a third gear drift that is uh, interesting. Yeah. A 
okay, so the theme is like a narrow map. Ach du Kacke. Yeah, surely there will not be any new slides here, right? But this is also a bit of an identity, you could say. Like, the identity is like, you know, a compact, tight map. Or like, slow-paced map. I think that's cool. Okay, cool transition. You know what should also be a thing, in my opinion? I know SRK cannot, like... It's, it's not an SRK's hand. But, like, when we have... Um, a new World Tour map pack coming out. Why not make one of the maps, maybe the most simple one, um, track of the day that day? Like, I know it would be, like, way too difficult for usual cup of the day, but, like, as a special kappa, kind of, to advertise the map pack a little bit. I would find that super cool. I really loved that when, um, when, uh, Arcadia did that back in the days. It would motivate more people um, to, to, to play this, I know. And even though this is difficult, like, one of the maps, like, if maybe the very first one? Ah, probably not, but like, one of the maps surely would be, like, okay to drive in Cup of the Day. And even if it's, like, uh, too difficult for beginners, yeah, then... Uh, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Just make people aware of it. And I mean, as a, like, once in a while, a kappa like this, you know, if it's like once every two weeks, one actually hard map. Of course people would complain, but like... I don't think it would be like super unfair. Or like maybe at least make, like, take one of the maps and build an easy version of it. Like back in the days. And then put one of them in kappa, just to advertise it a bit more. Because the map pack released today came like out of nowhere. There was like no, like there was like no proper announcement, no teasing or anything. Could do much more to make people more aware of it, you know? Or like maybe like if you don't want like if you guys say, yeah, it's way too difficult for Kappa, it would be absolute shit idea. Then maybe do something like Xpebo. Like invite streamers and players to a discovery event where uh, where the five maps are presented. People have like 10 minutes of warm up on the maps and then they play uh, a small cup mode on it. And then the streamers can raffle Nadeo goodies in the Twitch chats or something. People would watch it, people would get aware of the maps. Easy peasy. Something like this, you know? There's just no marketing around this. And as someone who like kinda studied that, it always makes me so sad because there's like so much more potential. And it's not even it doesn't even take a lot to, to make it way better. Okay, what is this part here? Ooh. Okay, I'm jumping like a maniac here. But yeah, uh didn't really talk about the map yet. Um Personally the least interesting map for me yet, but still good. I like the concept. Like there's like a narrow and slow map. It's the least special one to me, nonetheless. But it's definitely still better than all of the maps, or like almost all of the maps, from the previous map pack. Ah, scheiße. If Nadeo gives away free shirts, that is 90% of marketing budget done. Yeah, that's possible, yeah. I remember uh, when I met Tona um, for, the S for the Saturday Tea Cup in 2022. That's the first time I met Tona. Or oh, 2023? No, 2023, I think. Well, I don't remember. When I met Tona at some event. Um, we also had like some talks, also about some Nadeo-ish stuff. Like, nothing secret, don't worry. Tona didn't tell me anything super secret. <laughs> but we were also, at some point, we were talking about um, Nadeo marketing. I, d I, don't, I don't know what it was about. It was like two years ago. We were talking about Nadeo marketing. And... Um, he just mentioned it, like the Nadeo marketing things is like doing that and that. I don't remember what it was about. And as soon as he mentioned Nadeo marketing, I just had to laugh. And he also had to laugh and was like, yeah, it actually exists. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But it was 2022 then, yeah. Okay, I survived, but that was pretty slow still. Granadi doesn't know about the next map. 
you say that, uh, I'm literally hopeful. I hope it's the dankest one so far. Very interesting part here with like this tight dingsbums. Can you go up? And then there was this part here. A bit bumpy, but it works, I guess. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Don't like this map? Yeah, like so far it's also the least appealing to me. But as I said, like in general, I like um, fast paced maps a bit more than like uh, slow and compact ones. Because these kind of maps often have like parts with like where you can get a nose slide or where you have to do a neo slide or, you know, in general, like very quick steering changes. It's just not like optimal for me as a player in general. So I also tend to like the maps a bit less, which is understandable, I guess. Keeper players also will not like maps where there's 10 million dirt nose slides. This is like the same as for me with these kind of maps. Okay, zack. Then we go zack. I'm definitely not having the correct line here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, 103.7. I mean, it is top 7. Do we count that as a clean run? Uh, or do we go for one more improvement? Maybe one more. Come on, one more. I'm two seconds behind world record. I didn't get a single AT yet. ATs are quite good. Oh. I will go again, guys. Don't worry. This part is also a bit weird. Like, you're very close to getting fourth gear. You can get a little bit of airtime there. I'm not too sure what I think about that. Ah. I think every single run I touch there. <laughs> but since I save it with a low slide, I don't lose a lot of time with it. That's fine, I guess, but... Okay, touching there is not fine. Streamer is washed, what do you mean? Did you see Cup of the Day yesterday, guys? I almost didn't get uh, Division 1 and then I fucking won it. Easy peasy. Washed. Washed my ass. Wow, spoilers, yeah. Unlucky. Ay, 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 this part. Jeepers. I'm definitely not having optimal lines here. Who would have thought when I am two seconds burned? Like so, so often, so close to gear changes. Like, look at these, look, these gear changes, man. Like, am I just too slow and I'm in the wrong gear, or is it just like weird? I'm really not sure. I'm not sure if you want to get this gear change here. Maybe you want to stay in third.
Yeah, but like, so many... Like, ah, the map has like a very awkward speed. It's like too slow for gear 4. But it's too fast for gear 3. I don't know. Okay, eh. small PB here. 103.4. Not a, a improvement in terms of position, but we take it. Alright, Epos. What... Hello? Okay. What have you cooked? Let's see. Skill check by Epos? Yeah, I'm sure Epos also only spent 10 minutes on that run. Surely. Okay, so far only clean runs here. Okay, staying in lower gear. I see, I see, I see. Then hop up. Also staying in lower gear here. Yeah, but definitely the weakest map for me. The others were, like especially the previous one was uh, more fun. Okay, yeah, all right, we take it. Next, final map, guys. What is it about? Overflow. Overflow, one minute free long. Looks, uh, yeah, looks cool, I guess. I see wood, that is very good. We're going in. Oh, God. Yeah, hello, guys, it's wet wood. Ach, du Kacke. Yeah. That is uh, something new. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hey. Oh, now I see. Okay, interesting. We go up like this here. Okay, that is wild. Uh, it's actually a wet wood map. Yeah, okay, that is uh, unique. What the fuck? Ooh. Okay, what the fuck? Did I drive the correct? No steer, water, wet wood. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, this is a cool map. This is definitely the dankest one, I guess, just because it's wet wood. Ah, your mama has geared on. Ja, hallo! Mann! Okay. Oh Gott, slow down. Ah! Gear down. Uh, okay. Water bounce out. Cheapers. What the shit is happening here? Oh my god, that's fast. Uh, ach du Heilige! Yeah, hello guys! Okay, that is a proper dank map. That is a proper dank map. Plus, fucking plus. That is cool. Oh. Yeah, I hope there is no, like, awkward water bounce shenanigans happening. That would be bad. Want to get the lines? It's super smooth. Yeah, that is uh, what I expect. Okay. Is Team GL back? No, but uh, identities are sort of back, Lars. Oh my god, uh, the thing is you don't have uh, fully wet tires. That is a bit weird. Like wet wood with like only 50% wet tires is like... Not so nice. And depending on how wet your tires are, the less grip you have, but the more speed you keep in the turns. So here, for example, I think you actually want to go for more wet tires than... Uh, yeah, for as much wet tires as possible, basically. Oh, Massa would love this map. <laughs> I 
Ah. Fuck, fourth turn would come one block earlier. Oh my god, why are my tires drying here? Are they? Like, it's a bit weird. No, they're not. Ah, this is probably really cool. When you figure it out. Oh. Okay. That's also a nice finish you can risk. Oh, yeah, hello. It's a very easy to fail, apparently. Yeah, hello, guys! <laughs> okay. I'm uh, not sure if the custom blocks were allowed. Ah! This one looks giga hard. Uh, yeah. But I mean, it's a, you know, like, this is for the competition, for the highest level competition in the game. Where pretty much only the best players are playing. Yes, Trackmania World Tour is open to everyone this year. But none, like, let's be honest here, guys. No beginner is playing this. No beginner is playing these tournaments. Why would they? They don't have a chance to win. It's like, why would a beginner play this? It's only good or like really good players playing this. So why should the maps not be super difficult and like challenging for them? Like in a way that cup of the day is aiming to, you know, be focused on like beginners. And that's why we have mostly beginner maps. It's the opposite way in like Trigmania World Tour, for example. Oh god, what is that copy buster? I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, I have a good start. This is interesting here. Just like bonk onto it. Ah, you're wrong. Oh, that is a hard jump, eh? Jesus Christ. Then you hop, and then you flop. And then you save finish. Fuck. Wow, <laughs> you can risk that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So what is this copy pasta here? So first of all, we had even more resubs, and I already missed them again. Guys, I'm so sorry. Holy shit, I missed four new prime subs, man. Why am I always donor walling? Fucking hell. So 35 minutes ago. We had Yavor with a brand new Prime Sub. Yavor, thank you very much. Same goes for Chapster. Chapster also with a brand new Prime Sub. Thank you, Chapster. <laughs> so, then we also had Hurricane with the six month resub saying hello, Kanadi. Yeah, hello. Thank you very much for your resub. And we also had Flippo with the five month Prime Resub. Good focus. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Man, 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 man. Everyone's subbing so that they can get the early password for Bonk Your Mama Cup, for real, for real. I mean, honestly, um, I feel like people who are not subbed will have a very difficult time joining the cup. Like, I don't know, like, it's like hard to judge for me. And it's impossible to really predict, but I feel like um, the server is going to be very crowded and will fill up very quickly. Not gonna lie. Ach ja, ach ja the copy pasta. Yeah, sorry, Chili. Okay, the copy pasta. Hello Kanadi, you are my favorite streamer alongside Marius89TM. You are the best and you are both German, which like makes it so good because my relationship towards Germany is normal. Thanks for streaming. Wait, who sent the copypasta? Schengor! Yeah, thank you very much Schengor. I'm glad you uh, enjoy our streams. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good focus. I'm not sure what the normal relationship to Germany means. But uh, yeah, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy our stream, Shanger. Good focus. Okay, that was a very interesting landed out here. 
Okay, you know what? Uh, out of interest. I need to um, disable this. This shows how wet my tires are. Oh my god, I'm jumping there. Uh, I thought about playing the Bob Trial. Yes, that was released. But I guess that will take some time, so... Don't have time for it now, of course. Or like today. Oh god. How do I wanna jump here, though? Yeah, this is, uh, I would say, even though it's like super dank, it's still so nicely built. So this, together with map 3 that I played, I forgot the names, are my most favorites. And this one has, like a map like this is not easy to build good, you know? So easy to miss this. Zack, almost for you. How many slots on the server? Uh, 100 and um, the whitelisted people don't count. I have a whitelist of around, um, I don't know, 30 people, 20 to 30 people. So the server could at most have like 130 slots. The thing is, as I said earlier already, um, if we see that um, you know people are super interested in the cup and many more people want to play than there are slots, I already spoke with Big, they are definitely willing to uh, pay for another server because Big is just giga chat. But I mean, the more players, the better. So, yeah. In case uh, there's gonna be like, I don't know, like 50 plus people who do not get a slot, then uh, there will be a second server for the weeks after. And I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, let's say, I mean, that will probably not happen, but let's say we have like 400 people who want to play the cup. Then Big would also pay for four servers. Like, we just gotta see how uh, how big the interest is, you know. But that's the cool thing about the cup. Like, I uh, when I tried to figure out the format, I also spoke with a lot of people. Like, I asked my mods for feedback. I I asked the OK boys for feedback. Um, I wanted to make the format in a way that it's creative and fun, and on the other hand, interesting to play for beginners, but also for like advanced players, pros. And I came up with something that I'm really happy with, that I would love to play myself as well. Which is kinda sad, I missed my PB by 6 rounds. So, yeah. And I mean, I saw it like, you know, Spam's Endurance Race for example, also a really cool tournament. Which happened today actually, sadly couldn't play. Um, I think that one is also being played by like, multiple hundreds of people. I mean, you also see it with Bone Cup. Like, Bone Cup does not have a prize pool, it's not hosted by like... A giga famous guy. I mean, Shangar is very famous. Don't get me wrong, Shangar is an absolute giga chat. <laughs> but he's not like, you know, not like a virtual or like a streamer or anything. And nonetheless, I mean, okay, also because of virtual, of course, there's like always multiple hundreds of people playing it each week and having a lot of fun. So the interest for cups like this is definitely there. So yeah. I guess we will also have quite a few players here. But we will see tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the first edition. As I said, if you are interested in it, then uh, make sure to join my Discord to get all of the information. I can also tell you that um, every single edition of the Bonk Your Mama Cup um, will get its own edited main channel video. So I uh, personally asked one of my editors, Mr. Unstoppable, to... Uh, there he is, also in the chat. Um, to always cook a video and mostly um, he should be able to deliver the video for the next day. So each Tuesday after Cup of the Day you will see an edited version of each single edition of the Bonk Your Mama Cup. Uh, I need to stop calling it Bonk Your Mama Cup. It's the Big Yak Monthly Cup. Fuck. <laughs> it's not the Bonk Your Mama Cup anymore.
We also had other name ideas for the tournament, by the way. It was not easy. Um, other ideas were um, the big bonk cup or the big... We, another good idea of mine was uh, the big bonk... Uh, the big bonk circuit. Because the, the abbreviation of it would have been funny. <laughs> but in the ending, we decided for the um, big yak monthly cup. Because it has the same abbreviation as... Um, as the Bonk Your Mama Cup, which was like the the, the beta format of it, kind of. And not exactly Johnsy, but most of them also wanted the first one. Like the Bonk Your Mama Cup. Uh, the, ah! The Big Jack Manfly Cup. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, come on, I want to improve once more. Like, this is the final map, this is fun. I haven't focused too much on driving now, because I'm talking a lot about the cup. Yeah. To conclude it, guys, first edition tomorrow, 20, like always Monday on 20 CEST, so Monday after Cup of the Day. So, yeah, even if you don't have time for the first edition, you can join the second one or the third one. Or watch the monthly final then, as you wish. But each Monday you will get some big entertainment here. And if you want to join, then get onto the Discord, because there you get all of the information about the format, you will get notified. Blah, blah, blah. It's also for the YouTube people that are watching this video here. If you're interested in that, then check out my Discord. Okay, can I survive here? Not sure if it's, po if it's smart to go for more speed here. Okay, good finish. I think we can take that run. Damn, what a crazy map, eh? Really, really fun. Very, very uh, good focus. This is very unique. Redwood is, a, a, in my opinion, underestimated style. Like, Redwood is, of course, super weird and unique, but um, it offers a lot of, like, skill gap. And the cool thing about Redwood is, um, it is also totally fair for uh, keyboard players. Like, there is no difference between devices here. You can smooth there, you can tap. I think tapping is even faster. I mean, the best Redwood player is probably Elcon. Elcon is on keyboard. So, uh, yeah, in my opinion, Redwood really, really fun. Could be used more often. Can also be used in a very nice way. It's super fun. And, um, yeah, very, very cool. And cool to see it used in a competition map. So, now the final thing we're gonna do is to watch the world record by Thomas Jean. Let's see. How do I sign up for the Bonk Your Mama Cup? Uh, you don't have to sign, and it's still not the Bonk Your Mama Cup, it's the Big Yek Monthly Cup, Kanadi. Yek. <laughs> you just have to make sure to join the server in time. And the way it's gonna work is... Wait, he's using... He's using a big skin, look at this. He's using the, the Bayerische skin. Good focus, Thomas John. good focus. But you basically don't have to register, you just have to make sure to join the server in time. So basically, um, the password will be given... Um, at 19.50 CEST on the Monday and then five minutes later, so 19.55 CEST the server will go public where then everybody can join but of course um, the slots are limited so gotta be faster Back clean run here, really really cool map this also offers a lot of potential for like coming back when you didn't have the greatest start and this is what competitive maps need, in my opinion. Very, very, very fun. Cool map pack. Overall, um, I only didn't, like, I liked every map a lot besides map 4. Map 4 was, like, solid, but also not, like, my cup of tea, to be honest. Especially map 5 and map 3 were really, really fun. And, yeah, map 1 and 2 also pretty nice. So, overall, uh, the overall verdict is 10 times better than the previous map pack. Finally, not boring maps anymore. You actually have something to learn, to improve on and to cook on so um, yeah i'm still not decided yet um, if i will practice the maps and play the tournaments i'm not sure maybe yes maybe no i really don't know yet we will see but yeah, either way the maps are fun so yeah hope you enjoyed let me know uh, what you think about the maps in the youtube comments if you're watching this and i hope you enjoyed the map discovery and we will maybe see each other uh, in one of the cups bye, -bye.